I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber who wants to understand how to find domain and range of composite inverse trigonometric functions. So I've taken up this example which is find domain and range of f of x equals to cos tan inverse of x. Now when we are working with these functions, let me rewrite this, we have f of x equals to cos tan inverse of x. Then domain is the values which x can take and f of x is the range, correct? So that is a basic concept. So this gives you range and the values which x can take is the domain. Now the inside function here as you can see is tan inverse x right so so let's look into the inside function which is tan inverse x tan inverse x is defined in the interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 right so if i sketch this then the tan inverse x graph will be uh, let me sketch it here okay will be kind of like this this pattern actually repeats but it is one to one only in this interval correct so the interval which we take by default for tan inverse x is from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. The range is from minus infinity to, to plus infinity, correct? So that gives you the domain of the function, right? So we have domain of this function as x belongs to real numbers, where x is from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Right? So that is the domain for this function. Now let's look into the range part of it. Now cos of this function, range of cos is from minus 1 to plus 1, right? But if you look into this domain, let me again sketch another coordinate system let's see this so as you know from the rule we know in coordinate 4 and in coordinate 1 cosine is positive right since the domain is from minus pi by 2 so minus is the angle which you go clockwise so this is your minus pi by 2 correct and that is plus pi by 2 so as you can see in this domain of minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 cos is always positive right cosine function is always positive right it could be zero but it is non negative right cos is positive and from here we can say that the range of the function is y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than equal to uh, 0 I should actually write the other way okay uh, let me rewrite like this it is from 0 to 2 plus 1 right that works so y is between 0 to 1 since the domain is between minus pi by 2 pi by 2 right so so whenever you evaluate cos tan inverse x you'll always get non-negative answer. This is very important to understand. Now let us extend this and try to understand what is the value of this function, right? So, so let's redo a part of it, which is as an extension to this question. So we'll again consider the function f of x equals to cos of tan inverse x. So normally for solving any inverse function we may take this part inside function 
tan inverse x as equal to y, in that case, x is equal to tan y, right? Now, when I say x is tan y or, or either way, tan y equals to x, what does that mean? It really means that if I have a triangle here, a right angle triangle, in which y is my angle, tan y is what? We know tan y is opposite over adjacent side, right? So opposite is x, you could treat this as x over 1. So, so let me write this as x and adjacent is 1. Now since this is right angle triangle, the hypotenuse will be square root of x square plus 1, correct? So coming back to our equation, f of x equals to cos tan inverse x. If tan inverse x is equal to y, in that case, we could write this equation as, as f of x equals to cos y, correct? We are saying tan inverse x is y. So, so f of x is cos y. And from this triangle, what is cos y? Cos y is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, it gets 1 over square root of x square plus 1. So cos y is 1 over square root of x square plus 1. You will notice from here that the function square root is always positive and from here you can see that f of x is always greater than or equal to 0, right? It is non-negative. Is it okay? It's just non-negative. Perfect. So, so that is what you get. So cos y is always going to be positive, non-negative, and therefore the range of this function will be from 0 to 1. So that is how we can understand range of this particular function. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. So both the angles are the right ways of looking into it. You can adopt the approach which you want. And keep sharing your views and thoughts and your questions. Let's build an excellent site for reference. I'm Anil Kumar. You should always share and subscribe to my videos if you like. Thank you and all the best.